welcome back for week five. This week we are going to be using code names to build little bracelets. So I have three different colors. I have oops, pink, I have green, and then my last color is purple. And you can pick whatever colors you want, or um, if you picked up a kit at your library, um, they will have two different colors with seven beads and then one color with two beads in it. So what you are going to need is a pair of scissors, your uh, little beads, and you can use wooden beads like I am, or you can use um, like plastic beads as well. And you're also going to need some sort of uh, bracelet cord or wiring. So I'm just using this plastic wiring today, but something a little bit more elastic would be easier to wear around your wrist or if you're making a necklace. You are also going to need your binary codes um, index and that's going to help you figure out which letter is associated with which set of numbers. So for some background, binary code or ASCII binary is a type of computer language and we are using the um, code that uses the seven digits and uh, each code of, or it's a series of zeros and ones, seven digits of zeros and ones, and it matches up to a letter. So we are going to be using capital letters today because we are going to be writing out our initials. So uh, another handy tool would be to have a ruler or a highlighter as well. So we are going to start off by taking the wire and I'm just going to loosely tie it around my wrist just to get an estimate of how long um, the bracelet should be and I want to leave a little bit of a tail on the end um, just so we have room to tie it up afterwards and if you picked up your kit you will likely already have your bracelet pre-cut for you um, but I'm going to take mine and um, some uh, to make it a little bit easier on yourself to put the beads on, it's helpful to take some tape. So I'm gonna go do that now. All right, so I have a little piece of tape and I am going to tape one end of the bracelet and I'm just going to tape it down to the table in front of me. And then I'm going to take my highlighter and I'm going to look on the binary index and figure out where my first initial is. And that's the first letter of my first name. So my first name is Natalie and it starts with an N. So I'm going to search down on my list until I see N. And then I'm just going to highlight the code um, that is for N. I just find it helps with following along. So mine looks something like that. All right, and then my last name is Jones, so it starts with J, so I'm also going to do the same thing, run down my list until I see the letter J. And this is just going to help me keep track as I put the beads on. So next thing you want to do is assign one color for zeros and one color for ones, and you'll know if you are picking up a kit um, if you just have two beads, you don't want to use those for zeros and ones because those are going to be your divider beads between your initials. So I am going to assign pink as zeros and green as ones. Even if you wanted to write it down on your sheet, just as a friendly reminder, um, you can do that. And then I have my purple as my divider. So I actually want to start with a purple bead because um, once it once the initial loops around then you want to have something between on the other side um, because the bracelet of course is a circle all right so i have my purple bead and then i'm going to go down and look for n and i can see it starts with a one and i had assigned green as one if i'm remembering correctly well i will change it now if i got that wrong so Green will be my ones and pink will be my zeros. So I'm going to do one and then I have two zeros. So I put a green and then two pinks. Some of them might be a little bit tricky to thread. And then I have three ones. So I'm going to do three greens. And then my last one, my seventh digit is a zero, so I'm gonna put a pink on. 
All right, so the next thing I wanna do, so I wanna count up just to make sure that I have seven all together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the green and pink, that works out perfect. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add another divider bead because I'm going to be putting um, J next. So I'll just pull it up and show you what it'll look like. So this is what it looks like right now. And then I'm going to add J next. So I'm going on my list and seeing that J is starting with one. So I'm going to go back to my green. And then I have two pinks. And then I have a one, so back to, whoops, beads are flying over the place, back to green. And you know what, I just, because I uh, a bead was rolling away, I lost track. So I'm gonna go back and count. I have one, two, three, four, and let's see, one, two, three, four. My next one is a zero, so I'm going to go back to pink. And then I have a one and then a zero. So green and then pink. All right, so it should look something like that, of course, if you have the same initials as me, but yours are going to be a combination of the different colors with the divider beads. You should have the two purple or two divider colors and then your um, binary code in between. So I'm just going to do a little tie. Of course, you'll want to do, uh, I'm just going to do a double knot right now, but you can um, do different types of knots so that it actually stays on depending on the type of cord you're using. So mine just looks like that and I would just fit it around my wrist. All right, agents, so for week five, here is your clue. A library staff member came forward and said it couldn't have been one of the suspects because they saw them talking on the phone during the poetry slam. Tails checked the cell phone records of all the suspects and has eliminated someone whose name starts with this letter. Use the binary code index to determine the first letter of this person's name and eliminate them as a suspect and your code is zero, or is one zero one zero zero one zero. Again, that's one zero one zero zero one zero. Good luck.